Welcome to my review of the Z95 Headhunter Polybag. This is set number 30240, and it is from 2013. It has 54 pieces and is a great micro build. It is in the Lego Star Wars lineup. This is the finished build of the Z95 Headhunter Polyvac. It is a great mini model and I only have one issue with it and that is those bubble pieces on the bottom of the build. They are indeed a good play function, but I feel like they really take away from the build. But they do add for a nice rolling function. Towards the front you will see the T-shaped front and cockpit. There is and you will see the front engines. They are made using backpack pieces, which I feel like is a really good technique. But I do wish the engines were chrome. Towards the back, you will see the rear engines with some blue exhaust. You will also see the cannons in the back, which, which, don't, which are very useful in battle. Towards the front, you will see the cockpit that I talked about earlier, which is not included with an astromech droid socket, but we'll get to that in a second. Towards the bottom, you will see the landing gear and some more, some more views of those bubble things that I dislike. Here is it compared to the X-Wing polybag that was a promotion in 2023. One of the main differences is that the X-Wing is larger because it has more pieces and also, like I said earlier, this set doesn't include a astromech droid socket like the X-Wing does. But they are almost to the same scale, and I really like both builds. Also, the X-Wing doesn't have that big T-shaped front like the Z95 Headhunter does. I hope you like my review and follow for more.